On the bench today is a Yezu 840. This 840 came in because of the display flashing. Get that back on. Here we go. 17240. Okay. So the display was flashing. And the uh, problem with this is very common with these radios. Uh, the battery was no good. We had to replace them. The common failure is the resistor. Here's a smaller one. Okay, that's a 3.3. This one where these orange wires are, that was an 8.2. And uh, they've got these new improved resistors that you can mount to the wall of the chassis, which is better because this will take up, this is your heat sink. This will take care of that instead of discoloring the board and burning out the pads and the traces. Uh, so that's a very poor engineering problem that they did with these radios. They should have never put the resistor here. They should have already come up with this idea. So they finally did, you know, years later. So you mount these in the back and now the chassis becomes the heat sink and that eliminates all the heat and, and possible damage done to your board. So now we, we, we isolate this so it stays away from damage and anything else further. Also, these caps uh, were leaky, so we had to replace those caps. Uh, just due to age, it happens. There's your audio final. And then this guy down here is your 5 volts, and that's your 9 volt regulator. And here's your touch off points. Okay? So don't worry, it's a plastic tool, so we're not going to short nothing. So, <laughs> anyway, so. Uh, so it's very important with these, these uh, Yezu 840s is to take that resistor out, throw it away, and get yourself a, a um, mountable uh, type. I'd have to look it up to see what exactly they are. Uh, it's a, I remember it, it's, a, it's a PWR221 um, resistor. If you look those up online through like uh, DigiKey, uh, you can get those for DigiKey. They're pretty reasonable priced. And this will eliminate 100% of your problems ever again with that display. Now the other thing that could also make a display flash on certain bands would be your alignment. Okay, I have seen that. Very rare does it happen. Usually this happens because people get inside and they start turning coils. They don't know what they are doing. So that's a very rare thing to happen uh, to see the tuning out of alignment and when you tune these or not tune these but when you align these these uh, coils you got to be very careful because each one selects different portions of a high and low portion of your band so it's very critical how you do these and these are like spot on so you've got to be I mean we're talking just like oh my god sissy fourth of an inch of a turn basically I mean you got to be very careful how you adjust these to get these all aligned for all your bands but the most common 99% of the time failure are this power resistor and the regulators and leaky caps. Okay, so you guys got display issues and they flash on these 840s. That is where you want to, to, uh, to look. Okay, so and here's the regulators I took out. They were no good. Uh, in this case, we also found a, a bad crystal too. So and here's the FM board and then the CWAM filter. That I'll have to put back inside here when I'm all done, but um, fairly taken, go through everything and get things where they need to be. And power output wise, these are phenomenal. These are great radios. I own one of these myself. I love these 840s. Audio 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1, 150 watts output. So you can't ask for, you know, a better HF radio. They work really well, they do good, and, uh, uh, man, I tell you, I've seen several of these things come in my shop for the same thing, display issues. And uh, I have never had one come back. I've been doing this for 35 years. In the last probably, I don't know, we'll say eight years, I've seen a pile full of these Yezus come through for this display problem. Not a single one has come back. And uh, most of those guys still have those today. They still use them every day. Now, a lot of them I still talk to on the 80 meter band, 40 meter band. They'll uh, jump on these nets and and uh, they brag about how good these radios are. They are really good radios if you get inside here and do them right. So proper alignment, proper tuning, and all that good stuff. So anyways, I want to do a short video clip of this one here. DX Radio Shop.